it. There you go. Want to hold on to this? Take this. Appreciate it. certain to attend to that distinction. Booker, there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. I understand do what you do. I always thought of them as doors. Remember, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. I always wanted to come back. What? Oh, my family. Huh. How do you do that? 
whatever it is. I read literature on physics and other such things. Here you go. And what did that teach you? That there's a world of difference between what we see and what is. and there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where you're yes, from.
stop. Catch! That'll do! with this. I can do that. All done. When you're unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. Dwight? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. I want to see Paris. I want to see 
everything. That's up to you now. There's no one... Wait, what is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on, eh? Hey, Elizabeth, it's gonna be okay. Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> Shepherd, we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You, Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship Listen, to me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the Vox. Want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him. And you shall have your ship back. Gotta find Elizabeth before she lights out. The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lives. Why do you bench yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? What? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry? You do your job, you eat your food, and go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty.
just want to talk to you! I said stay away! Ugh. Elizabeth! Get away just hold from up me. for a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one Wait, such as you! No, no, no! No! Let me go! You There's gotta be another way. happened.
Hey, I'm slipping. Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. <sighs> Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? <sighs> You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a means to an end. No more. Jeremiah Fink has a philosophy. You see, your company now, Mr. Fink's a good man. Who work hard, you and I know they will work whose purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures. Then, you have the cow, the beasts of burden. Now, they provide meat, milk, and labor. And then... to find this person. Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. They live to stir up trouble. So beware the hyena. They will leave you with naught but the sun. Welcome to Think Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Fake Industries is not recruiting at this time. Please come again. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Done. Over there, a service elevator. It should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bar. Someone comes along and tells you that you are getting a short end of the stick. Do you know what they're really saying? Perfect timing. Booker, the gears. Wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy. Fitz. Fancy putting those locks I'll see what I can guys do. drawing attention. That's not good, is it? No. All yours. Mm. Need money? Take this. It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My 
husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother, she had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. My name is Jeremiah Fink, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> What the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego.